YouTube. Uh, welcome to episode one um, of the Jamie Taylor channel. Uh, I want to give you a little bit of background as to why I'm even doing this. Um, first of all, I have to tell you that um, I am naturally uneasy in front of cameras, don't like recordings of myself, um, and find myself pretty self-conscious. So the fact that I'm doing this is kind of a, a big deal, but because I have um, ideas I'd like to share and things that I would like to um, communicate, uh, one of the ways people do that now is through social media and through YouTube and through podcasts, and so that's why I'm here um, in order to get things across uh, more effectively. So a little bit about myself. I'm a wife and a mom, and I recently wrote a book called Finding Brave, and it was released almost a year ago now, actually. Um, and it was about my journey through intense anxiety and depression, and I'm still on that journey and would love to share more of that um, in later videos, but um, that, that was kind of um, a big deal to kind of release my story to people, at least a part of my story, and um, it, was, it was tough, but I've learned a lot um, about myself through the process, and I learned a lot about what people need. Like I can get over how many, um, how many people are hurting, and and when people started reading the book, saying I had no idea that other people felt like me, and it felt like you were telling my story, and you knew everything I was feeling, etc. Um, and so that's been a really special part of that process. Um, and then I also have some other things in the works um, that I'm that I'm current projects I'm currently working on, and um, I'm excited to share those as they kind of come to fruition. Um, it is kind of funny that I am starting a YouTube channel. First of all, I want to say that I part of the reason this even came to my mind is because I was speaking at a conference um, this past January. And I was sharing a song that I had written and sharing it for the first time publicly. And somebody asked me at the end, um, what's your YouTube channel so I can go find this? And I just laughed because I thought, I don't have a YouTube channel. <laughs> like, it, it kind of cracked me up. And I, I felt bad for laughing at, at this poor lady who just asked an innocent question. But I, I was so taken aback. I'm like, I don't have a YouTube channel. Well, that's partly you know, true and not true, I did have a YouTube channel um, that I had put a song like, I don't know how many, how long ago, but I put a song that I was just, you know, in my living room and, and shared a song and actually used the link to send to my mom and dad just because they live away from me. So I was sending them something of myself. And um, so I went and found that old YouTube channel and and added my, uploaded my song to it. And um, and I thought, okay, just uploaded my song. But then I was like, you know, this would be a great place for me to share my thoughts on some things rather than, I love Instagram stories, I love Instagram and Facebook Lives when people do them, but it just did, that didn't feel natural to me for some reason. And I think I like the option of, um, you know, if you wanna be a subscriber, subscribe and watch the videos if you want to. And if you don't want to, you don't have to. And I just, not that people have to with Facebook and Instagram, but you know, it comes across your feed a little bit more regularly. So anyway, that is how this kind of came to be. I'm still cracking up because um, the truth is when I was in college, we had to do this, uh, let's see, it was like a public speaking class. And we had to do this, this um, presentation about things that would, I can't even remember for sure what we had to do, but anyway, we had to kind of defend this argument. And my argument at the time, and so this would have been in like the year 2000, I think, 2000 or 2001. And computers were just, computers and the internet and all that kind of stuff were just kind of really, really on the scene. Like, it, yeah, there was people that had them, but not very many people were using them. And social media was definitely not a thing. I don't even know if there was MySpace. There might have been. There probably was. I don't even know. But I said, I my whole argument was that computers and technology and this whole world 
of the internet was going to ruin our lives. I literally did that for my argument. And I, I need to find that paper because I'm guessing it's somewhere in some of my keepsakes and I would love to see that paper. It'd be awesome um, because I'd love to read it. But the funny thing is, um, I kind of laughed at myself over the years about that article because I thought, you know, how, how funny I was. Like, I mean, so many, so many amazing things have come out of technology. But on the flip side, I kind of was a little bit right about that. Um, I, I think that technology has become something not only that we rely on in kind of like a really unfortunate manner, like we're really, we rely on it too much. Um, it, but it's, it is ruining some people's lives in the, in the, the fact that um, they can't pull themselves away from it. Um, you know, sometimes like the online bullying situation that's happening where people's lives can absolutely be ruined by one article or one, um, you know, one video, it's just whatever. I mean, your life can be potentially ruined for, forever because of one little thing. And um, that's really sad. I mean, so in that, in that um, circumstance, I think it's really unfortunate. However, I want to tell you something that my take on on technology and social media and the internet is not the same as it was when I was in college because I think it can be used for good. I think there's so many things we can do through it. Um, and I, I know my life has been changed from podcasts and from YouTube videos. I'm, I love YouTube videos. I love this forum. And um, I, think, I think we can really potentially do some good through through this medium. However, um, just like anything in life, moderation is key. And so I think the takeaway that I want to give today is, well, first of all, don't be afraid to try new things. Okay. So I'm, you, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be an inspiration to you today. I did not, I did not really, really love, um, to get on and do videos. It, it's just not something that is something on the top of my to-do list every day. It just isn't. And if that, if, if you enjoy it, that's awesome. That's very cool. But um, I think pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, trying something new is really important. It's something I talk about in my book, Finding Brave, about pushing yourself to do something. And, and, and I actually say in my book, when something scares me, I almost try to go out of my way to do it. Now, I will not do that with skydiving because skydiving actually terrifies me. Um, and I don't think there's any reason for me to do it. But within moderation, you know, if something scares me, I want to try to do it. It's just the way it is. Um, so do something that scares you today. And then the other thing is to just to, to remember that today is so important and, and every minute counts. And so do, um, do everything in moderation. Choose wisely what you're spending your time on. And, um, and I'm excited to take this journey with you guys. I don't know who's going to be here. I don't know who's going to subscribe and who's not. You know, even if I get two subscribers, it's going to be fun. Let's do this, you know. Leave a comment. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited to take this journey with you. You can find me on Facebook, um, Jamie Taylor Online. You can find me on Instagram, Jamie Taylor Online. My website is jamietaylorontheline.org. And um, I'd love to connect with you. Have a wonderful day.